All right, so 33 million in new funding. What does that let you do, and how long will it last? Yeah, well, it uh, it lets us do what we're doing, which is engaging with with more women, both for investing as well as for content that help women get in greater financial control. The response to what we've been doing has been so great. We started with digital investing, and then high net worth women said, "I want in," and women who weren't ready to invest said, "I want in." And so, the more we can help women get in financial control. The stronger our mission, the stronger our economy, society, nonprofits, families. And uh, we think that the upside on the company, of course, is tremendous. So, what is it that resonates or what is it that focuses you on women in terms of the differentiation of their needs versus men? Yeah. Well, you know, when I started, a lot of people said this is a really dumb idea. Money is gender neutral, women don't need their own thing. But the facts are the facts, which is women have kept more than 70 cents out of every dollar in the bank, and men have invested much, much more. And women are looking for, you know, I hate to say it, guys, but they're not as big traders, right? They're not looking for what's the market going to do today. They're more about help me, Elevest, identify, quantify, and then invest for me to work to reach those goals like. Buy a home, start a business, retire well, have a baby. It's much more goals based. They also love impact investing, the opportunity to earn a competitive return while having a positive impact on the world around them, which Wall Street hasn't been serving very well. How quickly are you growing and how are women coming to you? Is it word of mouth or yeah. something else? The, the answer is very quickly. And what's great to see is it's not only new inflows, but our attrition rate, even during the month of December, was a low single digit percent annualized. So when the industry had record net outflows, we had record net inflows, and our women were really standing their ground. And one of the great things about Elevest, when we look at our cost of acquisition, it's below so many of the digital first advisors because our product market fit, we believe, is so strong and our brand is strong and growing. So we get a tremendous amount of our new clients, not from Facebook ads or Twitter ads, but from women talking to women and sharing the content. So, if the numbers I'm looking at here are right, you got around 23,000 clients yep. at this point, a quarter billion dollars uh, in, in assets, which I guess is around, or even more, or, 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 even, or more, even more, r roughly, <laughs> but, but but somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, ten thousand yeah. uh, dollars per client. What, what's on average? But what's the median, and and who is yeah. the person who's coming to you versus just yeah. going with their 401k, yeah. you know, yeah. provider? Already? Well, the median, of course, is much larger because one of the things I love about Elevest is, given our mission orientation, we have no minimum, we have no investing minimum, and that was really important. Just obviously, we lose money if someone invests a dollar with us, or a hundred dollars, or even five thousand dollars. But if you think about it. Wall, investing in Wall Street has felt unapproachable for these women, and particularly women of color. And those minimums have kept it out of their reach. And so, with our mission, let's say let's reach reach on down. Who do you see as your competitors? And, and I guess yeah. when you're when you are raising money, how do you see yourself as a company? Is it a fintech company? Right. Is it something else? Yeah. So it's funny because some folks who said no to us said. What if a competitor gets in, Sally? And I'm like, it's a seven trillion dollar investable asset market. I think we can handle one other person. Um, but you know, overall, uh, for us, the competitor really is inertia. As mentioned, mo these women have most of their money in cash, and some of them, you know what? I'm going to get to it. But what we found with women is not that we're risk averse, but we're risk aware. And if we don't understand, you know, what's beta, what's alpha? Ah, you know, women, we love to get A's. Better go study that, right? And so we wait, and it cost women hundreds of thousands, some women a million plus over the course of our lives. So we provide this investing with them without having all the jargon. We don't dumb it down, but we use language that we can all understand immediately. So the 33 million, which is a significant sum given what your total now is about 70 million raised yeah. in terms of, what is the most productive use? For that capital, in terms of growing the business, is it just straight on marketing, or how do you go by yeah, allocating it? Yeah, well, it's continuing to reach out to more women, right, and continuing to do what we do, but more content, more financial advisors, and high net worth. You know, we may have a few other products we bring out, but we're not ready to announce anything today. But we love the business we're in, and we have, you know, while a quarter of a billion sounds great, you know, 
asset managers, wealth managers, fintech companies out there have billions and billions, and our market is trillion strong. So we have a ton of runway here. You know, I'm curious, given your experience overall, and typically we bring you on to sort of comment broadly yeah. as well, but Goldman Sachs comes to mind, what, what they're doing in markets yeah. here and their approach to the consumer. I mean, you obviously spend a lot of time on Wall Street. You think it's going to work? Yes. Yes. Um, technology is so important here because we are able at LFS to provide highly customized, I might personally argue the most highly customized investment portfolios for these individuals. It's not your portfolio and your portfolio. It's your home goal is different from your retirement goal, is different from your retirement goal, is different from your baby goal. Um, and so technology enables us to take those vast quantities of information and truly highly personalize. We, we are the ones who, um, in our investment portfolios, take into account women live longer, our salaries peak sooner. It's beyond the capacity of the human mind. And we can bring our digital offering to these women at 25 basis points, whereas traditionally the cost of intermediation in the retail business has been two and, two and a half or two and a quarter percentage points. That money goes right back into their pockets. And of course, we all know, you know, a great investor can outperform by just one percentage point a year. We're delivering that already through the lower fees. Now, there's always room for human. And we have humans, we have financial advisors, but tech-enabled humans.